You know, often you need springs uh, and you have trouble finding them or finding the right size, or then when you do find them, they're really expensive. And so I've started making some of my own and uh, you can buy uh, music wire or spring wire from places like McMaster and get the exact size you want if you're going to build a spring that has to be uh, to an exact specification. But normally the springs that I need are just, you know, for general purposes or something like that. And I have found these are actually made out of um, some stainless steel welding wire. Uh, that you would use in a MIG welder and uh, I've also used the just straight um, you know copper coated uh, wire to make lots of springs before it actually makes a uh, really good spring uh, really good springs and the wire of course is uh, very cheap so what you know whatever sizes of MIG wire you can get you can use uh, to make make springs now these could uh, you could make these springs I'm going to show you today how I made them on my metal lathe but um, you could make them in just a regular uh, drill or a drill press uh, it's nice to have something that turns slowly um, so you don't have to be able to uh, move so quickly when you're making the spring so you know a variable speed drill or something like that would work just fine you might just need to clamp it in a vise or have somebody hold it for you okay let's get over to the lathe and uh, we'll get started I've got a piece of rod uh, in the chuck on the lathe and you could use a, a, a drill press or even just a regular drill to do this and just chuck up some kind of piece of rod to use as your mandrel to form your uh, your spring. Now you've got to take your wire and just make a bend on it like that. And then let's see, let's zoom in here. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to hook that in the side like that. And then you just wrap it. Alright, All right, so you can see there at the end it jumps back. Uh, a little bit so you want a mandrel that's uh, smaller than the size of the spring that you want but you can see we formed a spring I got a little I had to look away to uh, reach uh, reach around the camera and get to my lever that's why this got uh, like this but I can cut it off now here's our spring right off the lathe and this first loop here is not really tight to the rest of the spring so I'm going to cut it off stainless steel wire is kind of hard. I'm actually going to use this as a compression spring so I'm going to pull this out. Now I could have formed it this way. Could have just you know set my speed of my lathe and laid it out but it's hard you know you got to set up a jig and all that kind of stuff to do it so if you just pull it out you basically have the same thing okay all right so that gives you a compression spring this would be a tension spring right here and then you can take your ends and just bend them Need some smaller pliers just bend them like that to put an end on your spring Just like that. Alright, well I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.